Well, I'm back. That's right. After two, uh, after a while, uh, I'm finally back with the with part three, the possible finale of "I Love You, Colonel Sanders" dating sim. Uh, to recap, um, the little recap I did, trying to get to this moment because. I didn't like. I don't. I don't know. But anyway, the recap is uh, I told him about my co my coleslaw. Uh, we lost to a to a chef cook battle against Ashley. Um, I think I tried on his jacket. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, his famous jacket. I looked at his house. After the battle, I went to, or after the battle, I went to his house, which is where we're at now. And then, uh, there I, uh, I told him that I loved him, and he said that he loved me too. And, uh, it's now day three, I believe. So let's do this. You awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only oh, time will tell, will truly tell. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and your mouth waters the side of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. <laughs> it's meticulous. That actually looks good. You taste Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say with a perfect match? How presumptuous. My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Such confidence, such grace. Could he be the world's greatest gift of cookery? You know, I think we might make a great team. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window. And with the right business partner, I know I, can I can't fail. Business partner, could he be talking to you? It's so happy, so quickly. Overcome with emotion, confused by your feelings, you are on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only reason you, you, you can't find is to run out the door and get home. There's still one more day of school. After all, the University of Cooking School Academy of Learning waits for no one! You get home to find something it's very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. Where have you been? I. Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something happened. had happened to you. It's okay, I was just... But now that... It turns out you're fine. Actually, actually, get you up to speed. Um, the saga of me, 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 that would sure, but you will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. I think I can believe that since I've been partnered up with Clank. He asked me to go out with him. He's a robot. Of course, I told him. You better keep your dialogue tone to pl polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was a spin. Spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, Yeah, sure. I can get to know the little metallic guy. Long story, oh, long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. She just say skydiving as if that's a typical first date one with a talking pressure cooker. <laughs> and now I'm not really sure where we stand. Sorry, I should have done this earlier, but I gotta do something real quick. You don't give Miriam time to tell her story. However, bottling up the dialogues of your own night is too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spent a night with him. Sorry guys, I just have to do this real quick. Sure doesn't sell real. Well. Okay. You what? Nothing happened but the emotional connection. Wowzers! Miriam tells you to move on from the whole Colonel Sanders section and focus on the school. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agreed to go your separate ways. Hold on. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, no. Crap. Oh, I had this photo to show you guys. So, <laughs> that I had on my phone. But I, I forgot to put it on my computer all the Oh, well. When you arrive at school, you encounter your, your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance after picking on Pop, though he himself might not quite grasp the fact. Because, you know, it's Pop. What's a swirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, it's such an idiot. Oh, it's great. I woke you up one right away. There we go. Oh, no you're not. You know, I was thinking about ending this out, but I might just keep it in. It just adds to the terribleness of this of this channel. Okay. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. Hehe, <laughs> sprinkles is a dog in a tree. Aww. You can get your swirly dip too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at the school. There was that horse that corner saying this rice school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful <gasps> creature? You got some nerve about the boss suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. You clenched your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you worse with pain. Oh yeah, you got your hand cut with a mixer or something. Doesn't look like you can go through cooking like that. Go on cooking like that, might as well just give up. I'll never give up, ever! Connor Sanders arrives, just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something's been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? But the boss, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this <sighs> afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yes, I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting mm -hmm. her? But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It's, it was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say. It was bland. Excuse me, but the boss, I am sure mo I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. <sighs> Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine arts of fine food. See you inside, but the boss. Annoyed by Colonel saying his inability to see Ashley for for her, you know, she really is. You walk across the car to get some distance. Last year, and then I'm gonna go back. Okay, annoyed by Colonel Sanders in the pool. Wait, why oh, was that? In an attempt to distract yourself from how sliding you feel by the interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you received yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, what's that book? It looks like bad news. 
This is something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire. But I don't really believe in that magic stuff. A grime a grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it weren't really powerful? I can even think of some surefire way to find out. You open the page could Ugh, to, to a page covered with arcane light warnings, cast only in case of extreme emergency, it says, around the edge. I can't speak now. Hold on, I need a drink. Okay, sorry. I could use a spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all my memories. But screw back Colonel Sanders, it'll probably help you focus better on the upcoming final exam. That was way drastic. Can you do something else like anything that looks like not like rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine, it is drastic, but desperate times call for des desperate measures. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Don't do it! You take your friend's advice to put the book away, it's almost time for class. What are you, an idiot? Sprinkles is already in the room, waiting for the students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want you all to know, I feel something of a dark moment coming on, but I assure you, it's nothing to be afraid of. His cute little nose scrunches up and begins to breathe quickly. He must be hungry, reach for some old homework to give him as a snack, toss me rather unpredictable, especially Sprinkles, wait to see what happens. Wait to see what happens. Sprinkles stops in his tracks and focuses on the window, the room is deadly silent. When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel pull out some of the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns feral and runs out and runs to the window of the classroom. He begins walking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Terrence? I told you never to come back here, Terrence. I will destroy you, Terrence! Jesus, Terrence. What? Jesus, Sprinkles, what the Terrence you? Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drooling, flying off his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. He wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? You better not show him your chubby cheeks around here ever again. After all, Sprinkles is satisfied that, satisfied that his presence has been felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel in hearing distance, he returns to his professional tone. <clears throat> I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Bot the Boss, for reminding me to... Dolly up the indispensable bit of wisdom. You see, before you can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over the class. Sprinkles is interrupted by Wolves and Sparks coming from the back of the room. I told you to save it after class. You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? Miriam and Clank appear to be having to be arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language from the mechanical voices. But no, you had to show off your cool kid, your cool, your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joan, J and J. Watch this form of triangle in mid-air as we descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? Yeah, well, that doesn't make it a great date. Come on, I got a perfect date for Clank. I just gotta remember to play it. Okay. <laughs> then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can hold all hands at, as you pedal down the mountain or off a cliff for all I care. Come on, that's not work. Clank begins to stutter. The steam pulls out of the gas in his panels and then a loud Dean stops him in his tracks. No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that plank. Plank for a sour, completely fried sneaker, considering that he himself has wheels, not feet. It's entirely clear where it came from. In terms of deep fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. 
Clank slowly walks out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see that entire thing go down. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pal a pa a pale pa pal <laughs> over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't distract from the lives that the final competition so showdown channel exam trademark. I'm still working on the title, but I think it, you get it. Test time approach to see you all in the arena. I don't know why I'm speaking all in one breath. But before you think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey Miriam, are you okay? Okay. I'm so mad to smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could you embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? But tiny cocoa is a del delicious treasure. So you know that this breakup is no joke, even if the source of our frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm gonna say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you, we're gonna cruise through this final test and into Corporal Lane to Success City. Me and Brian self imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the feelings <laughs> all the way. You're not gonna saddle up and call a single Sally and ride off the two of set without me, totally. Uh, of course not. Well, maybe sorta, of, but, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it, and you're big enough for both of us to dwell home. Oh, sweet boot. Being alone. It's not Pops Clink going on to me today, but tomorrow or this whole year or so what? You're a special person who wouldn't shouldn't settle for the thought of someone to show a little interest, anyhow. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, back to what I was doing. <laughs> Brian gives you a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. I should review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. And I bet that Professor Dog is going to love it up. Love it up. While you were pep talking Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay, because you had a better idea of how to spend time, the time before your exam. Decide to head to the arena to Ollie to practice a dish. This is it, the location of your final challenge, your test of world, test of courage, your test of talent. And this is probably where the, where the series will be ending. And possibly my channel. <laughs> no. And a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van, the supposed man man, and his evil old counterpart, Ashley. As planned, you begin to run through the quick test of recipe of the recipe you've been working on. The bot the boss's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish come second nature to you. And you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven, but as soon as you do, your cream session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Your cream session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Cream session. But the boss, what are you doing here? There's still time for the final exam. Oh, just taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station at picture victory. The Popeye has begun to bake and smell, slowly filling the space around you. Hmm. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. You usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook-off. Besides that, it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when the oven timer goes off behind you. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know, my nose can sell a Popeye from whole 400 yards. 
course you can. Colonel Sandoz Senpai. That's, that's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. Man. Ma'am, yes, he's a ma'am. You know it was a pot pie just from the smell. Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an old butter crust. My nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it Bonnie? Haha, <laughs> no, I can smell it. It was made with a heaping helping of TLC. I'll probably start Bonnie in any second if you don't pull it out. The moment of truth. Wow. <gasps> it's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking. I could eat this all day. Country cooking is amazing. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lay down, lays down the ground rules. What is this? Oh god. This music. There are no rules as except to cook with, with everything you've got. Some up to the cook off of a lifetime. Beside that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing. Oh, this is just as I'll push you over the edge of victory. I can go for some good mac and cheese. I can always go for mac and cheese. Meanwhile, it's both Van Van and Ashley are perfect while the elaborate dishes for their usual over the top selves. Miriam has a giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big, going small. Corner Sandoz seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve something perfect. This original recipe fried chicken. The intensity in the room is starts at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone's calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Corner Sanders barrels of chicken as it levitates through the air. Egg wash. Miriam furiously injects ingredients to an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend Matt Bastard Blaster. Van Van flexes his pectorials as he chops open a sea ocean. Let's rock and roll it. Ashley scoops her pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula. Even Clank gets in on it. Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? Oh, I was. Oh well, I like it better. I'm just gonna, even if he does become I like it better like that. It's a singularity, as was told. We, we mustn't let it happen. We'll be pounding so and we'll take us all. Selfish shock. Oh crap. Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out the back door of the. As you film, she prepare your dish. You know, actually has a spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You got a spell book of your own. And you're desperate not to see or win another battle. She, should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Yeah. You take your own spell book and let your instincts guide you to a page you've never seen before. I guess that actually just costs us everything. Crap. I made a mistake. It's a suddenly spelled out conjure up a spook monster. Now it seemed like a good time to add some chaos to the mix. You got summoned to me. Ah, the broom cooking arena. So many fond memories of battling in this place in my old life. In your old life? I wasn't always a monster you see before me. No, once I was a bus student like yourself who attended the school. A spook monster knows this is the book you're holding. I see what you're what's going on here. Things are going your way, huh? Been there, my friend. I tried to cast a spell on myself to imbue my body to palace my favorite foods. As you can imagine, things did not go as planned when spells only cast in case of emergency they mean it. I'm kind of in a pinch here. Got any ideas? Smoke monster smiles curls up mischievously. So I've never cast spells on yourself. Cast them on your rivals. Just tell me who is giving you trouble and we'll take care now we'll take care of them for the good. Your motion to Ashley. Before you can think about this, that's the decision. You decide to spell that. Turns over to a chicken. Oh, that works. Now, Mio Bush flaps the wings and glides off to produce section of the arena. Far from the station. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Uh oh, this could be dangerous. You're immediately racked off with guilt over the act of blame. Trans. Transmogrification. You don't want to do it would be poor justice for actually to live out the rest of the days at a chicken, and yet, that seems unspeakably cool after all. It's just a cooking. Sable. 
Return to the next page and cast a reverse spell. Chicken Ash immediately transforms back into herself. Bah! She's in shock and still ex exhibiting some chicken-like movements, but otherwise she appears to be alright. Hmm. Um, is it just me or does the chicken seem remarkably fresh today? I didn't realize when this your entire sabotage is not fresh. Uh oh, uh oh! Go on, we don't. We may no longer be able to be with Colonel Sandals, but we found love. And, but we found love in ourselves along the way. We don't need his love if he's just gonna abandon us like this. Colonel Sandals, your heart—it may have been perfect like your original uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, but. I must move on. If you cannot accept the fact that I use dark magic to get what I want, then I don't know if this can work out. You summon extra power from deep down within yourself. I've got to touch the power. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns back and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... Yes, but the boss, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power of your summon immediately fades back out. You interrupted by inspiring mon- You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Get out of here, dude. I'm monologuing. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. Begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know how this power you can do anything. Except turn back time. Which could be super help useful because while you're powering up your chicken pot fire overcooking the oven it can't be solved. Don't worry, deal about the boss. You may yourself some setbacks, but not all is lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned the support. I've been watching you for today. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've been thinking on your feet and warrior the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. Yes! Thank you, Colonel Senpai! Senpai! I knew I can always count on you. Much like I can always count on your delicious Kentucky Fried Chicken. All you managed to make is mac and cheese and time is almost up, so you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, we're about to test. What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. Indeed. What a guy. So dreamy. <laughs> Colonel Sanders unfolds his delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. And besides, sometimes the unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. Are you suggesting? If we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union. Time's up, students! With time expired, it's the moment everyone's been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. Seems we're missing some students. Pop, clank. From our screen, you can hear it. Off screen here, a pure and innocent guild that can only come from one student. Heh, <laughs> I'm flying. Sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. Mm. 
Miriam, would you mind? Inside the closet, you see Pa painting on a boom, hooked by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from there now. Let me guess, did Van Van have something to do with this? If someone asked for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought a wedgie was a salad. It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs. Can I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks, I must say, it's not the worst prank in UC uh, UCS AL history. But it's not exactly yearbook material. Very unoriginal, Wedgie. Wait a sec, pranks, pranks, clank. Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? Wait here, a signature, board beep, or other onomatopoeia, but that's not what that is. I don't know why I said that. But there's none. Somewhere I'm missing out unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later. There's only four main students, please. Collect your final projects. Yes, it's been a long time still. Wow, three whole long days. But the days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made Tindo Ud Tindo Udon noodles and savory soup. My word is so delicate. Is that a teeny tiny Nawutomaki I spy a float in this itsy bitsy bowl? Yes, chef, yes, chef. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef's is my father's name. Yes, Sprinkles. And some green tea made from baby tail tea leaves I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sips around the dish before opening his mouth and laying just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime. What do you want like a taste? Oh, come on. I'm not the one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine, I would enjoy it all by myself. And then flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. It was less than a thimble's worth of soup. A plus. Rarely do I taste a distance with as much love poured into it as yours. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Bot Boss, for helping me to believe in myself. Van Van, you're up! Now describe your dish. I made <laughs> uni of a smooth egg custard and an axe hewn ocean shell topped with caviar. You skewer one type of ocean with spines from a second, different colored types of ocean? Yes, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is kind of my brand. Does it look cool? Sprinkle leans in the soft uni, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. Peeing the port directly, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof woof. Please be gentle with my cuisine. <laughs> Finally, Sprinkles goes all in tons of us, but he can't get past all the Neo CP. Who's back at his tons of focus rotten? Youch! My tongue. The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the steam. I can't eat this. It keeps poking my tongue. Okay, Douglas. Disqualified. A stunning ton of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could make it really make it difficult to eat? Ejected. Van Van does not go gentle. To eat, right? Disqualified for glamour. Don't discount. Tell them to see. This isn't the last they've heard of me. For forcing us to endure a swollen ton for another moment, Sprinkles graciously laughs up bowls of milk. I know, and I know. Yeah, I'm a dog. No, get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next to it, Ashley, it's time to step up. Now, scrape a dish. I made orange blossom tucker shellite in a light rose water syrup topped with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I say you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it anyway. It's very fragile, meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food at a cooking school. Got toast in your ears or something, box boss? I told you, this is a display piece. Actually, I must say, it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition out of a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it, and it did an exemplary good job cooking it, too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I had to go to the college eating school for the hungry. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insist, but don't breathe too hard on me. It's sort of sugar spiral. Food cannot be eaten. It cannot be judged. You are disqualified. 
Rage overtakes Ashley as she finally cannot keep a two-faced routine up. You won't know how he and cuisine if it can cook you. And with that, Ashley storms, storms off to re to re we dedicate yourself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to fake nice and liked by, me, by everyone. This isn't the last you've ordered me either. If the class is much more, I'd, I'll be teaching myself. Even Colonel Sam was the final cook step up together. Two chefs? What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese? A gum something else. Museum is a close and sniffing and eyeing the bowl. Oh my god. Uh oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. I'm somewhere in the room, a little dumb wall. A little dumb wall place. Just when I thought I'd seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing. Completely blow me away. My 49 dog years of life. I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious. The fact that everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, you pass, and you get a pass. It's like GoPro, everybody. You get a pass, everybody gets a pla pass. Everyone gathers around and partakes in a mac and cheese bowl. You all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win. Go us! You and, you and Colonel Sanders made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressed that even Bam Bam and Ashley are drawn back in by its magnetic fragrance. When they realize, when they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on. How could they be better than this one? Now that the school year is complete and everyone's graduated, students return to the one last time to get their groove on. Please tell me it's on a dance note. <laughs> That'd be amazing. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. What is this? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no no no. <laughs> DJ Dog in the house. You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also will right now a turntable list? Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Oh my god, what is this? Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they've committed themselves to Ryan Duran the day when they were the villains. For, Matt, for a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting. No ghost allowed at graduations, clearly written in the school's bylaws. I was never actually a ghost, so it's all I tried to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. Now that everyone's together, it's the smoke monster. He has totally mellowed out. Everyone, the smoke monster is no more. From here on out, I'll be full that everyone referred to me by my new name, Party Monster. Student tries, student tries to finish what he has said, but everyone is too wrapped up talking to the smoke. Sorry, Party Monster. Objective student walks off. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and you know she's gonna do great. The red carpet falls across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie for me, or who could command such an entrance? It's Pop, he arrived late to the dance by planning for good reason. Walking to the carpet, you see Porsche atop his dirty shelf's hat. A crown? Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to complete, uh, complete the final exam and you and accept your diploma. So we had mail directly to your father. We figured it was at least we could do Dude, for the school's dean. Oh, now I get it. And now we got a new wing on the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of the chancellor of such and such. Okay, I was gonna say, what? The music at the dance is interrupted by a sound of sparkling electrical hissing. It's Clank who has arrived late to the class to the dance. Now that I've graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's still doing the talking then. I am Clink, and I am not this off of this off. 
I am actually from the faraway planet in another dimension. What? What? Hmm. I actually feel like I knew this the whole time. Now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I just begun to hold... to learn the who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life to figuring out who you are, Clank. You are blown away by Miriam's mature maturity. It's pretty clear that she managed to suppress you in that regard. I understand. Wait. I understand, kind of. Humans are weird. A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Howdy, classmates. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Oh no no. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not just enough to give him a bucket of chicken. It's time for, it's time for, for a meal. <laughs> I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and men by not by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. <laughs> I love it. The end? Wait, is that it? No, it's not the end. Thank you. It's like, really? That's how we're gonna end it? As you're in a feast on a delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sandoz finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Oh. But the boss, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder. Might you tell me? What are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, oh, I don't know, a spicy must, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the university of school, a cooking school, academy for learning, just to name a few. It is truly my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Connor Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off and I'll be glad to spend it together with you, the boss. How sweet. We work together and play together. Connor Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together, well, um, I think this is something I'll need to do by myself. But who will help you run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Could it be you found a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef? Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to enjoy sharing him with other love? Is his other love the life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll at pastry school. Oh, my dear old bot boss, I'm sure you, that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end. So, uh... Oh, here's the, uh, anime intro that's played at the beginning. I played some super packy. We're done? We're done! Okay, I just want to thank you all, the whole nobody, for watching the series and supporting me. And I mean, all, I mean nobody, because nobody supported me, cause, and nobody watched us. Except for two people who were sad, who were obviously disappointed. Um, what should I say?
Yeah, um, I'm sorry it took me so long to get to this. Eh, how long has this been? Only 45 minutes? Not as long as I took, and my cat, like, a quarter of it was me figuring this stuff out, because I got some pictures to show you guys. But, um, the last video was posted two weeks ago of this. I wanted to do it last week, but, um, I've just been busy. I usually record on weekends, and for the past few, for the past, past week, actually entirely last week, I've just been busy. Um, and I'm still busy today. N not as busy, but, um, school and uh, work stuff, everything's just been taking up my time. I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, for the next couple of days, other than a couple of school projects, I do have some free time that I do plan on making some videos. I do plan on making another Hoi 4 video. So please, just work with me. Come on, how do I make this work? Oh, what I can do. Okay, hold on. Okay, I have no idea how this works. I probably should have done this beforehand, but what up? Okay, display capture. Okay. Yes. It's going to be good enough. Okay, but before I go... No. I'm going to show you some images I stole off the internet. We got this one. I figure these, uh, chef-related Thanos- oh, oh, the chef-related Thanos image will serve us properly. Perfectly seasoned, as all things should be. No, I don't care about iCloud. And finally... We got this. Also stolen off of, I believe, that it also. It was our Twiddle, one of the two. By the way, I have a Twiddle. Follow me at, at, at a young bot guy. Uh, I post n uh, practically nothing. I just retweet a bunch of weird stuff. And like a bunch of weird stuff. Uh, thank you all for watching. Okay. Uh... Bye.